Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Parker Group Live. Today are, we are in a very interesting off-site location. I'm here with Kevin Gilmore of Sussex County Habitat for Humanity. Thanks for having me, Kevin. Great to have you here at <laughs> Lewis Restore. Yep, so we're here at the Lewis Restore, like Kevin said. So if you have never um, visited the Restore, it's a really cool piece of what Habitat mm -hmm. does. Um, and Kevin, I don't know if you want to explain a little bit about what the Restore is, and then we can get into some of the cool pieces that we have here. Absolutely. Restore with the name is a play on, on restoring items and keeping them out of landfills and turning them around uh, and using those proceeds to, uh, to build houses uh, here in Sussex County. So you can donate products to the Restore, uh, like this cabinet here behind us, uh, or you can other, other items as well. Here we have uh, furniture, appliances. I call it a, a thrift store for big things. So <laughs> the idea is that it's home improvement items yep. and, and home related construction items as well. Yeah, and it's really cool. So I mean, those of you that are like me that love HGTV and find the latest home design trends, one of the big trends right now is pieces with a story, about buying something that's unique, that's not just commercially produced, that's a little bit different than what other people have. And so the cool thing about coming to the Habitat Restore is you can find pieces that are really on trend. And as I was walking around in here, I was trying to pick one piece to stand in front of because there are a lot of really cool things here, um, but also pieces that have a really unique story. So something that caught my eye is right now they have a ton of these amazing unfinished wood um, wardrobes with just really unique pieces. And it reminded me so much of some of the stuff that my favorite designer on TV does, Joanna Gaines, where she has all these unfinished old antique doors that she uses for bookcases and uh, to replace new doors in a house. And so this piece, what I mentioned to Kevin, actually has a really cool story. So I don't know if you wanted to share it. Yeah, this is one of many pieces that look very similar, similar to this. And in fact, a local hotel uh, in downtown Rehoboth was renovating the hotel and they gave us all these pieces. These are wardrobe cabinets out of their room. So this is a, a high-end hotel in downtown Rehoboth. We've had a lot of them come through here. A lot of them have sold already. They came in and out really quick, but there's still more here as well as all kinds of other furniture yeah. from that donation and, and many other donations. It's just, it's just so cool. I mean, like you said, there are all these unique little pieces that you couldn't find other places. I saw a sofa over there too that looked like something straight out of a Joanna Gaines episode for like less than $100. Right. So you can get some good deals as well. The great deals. I mean, everything here uh, is donated so we can use those funds to, to build houses. Uh, so we're really uh, trying to, to get as much as we can for it, but also there's right. the idea is that the, the products go back into the community. We keep them out of the landfill, and people just have a great time repurposing items like this uh, and also just buying things that speak to them, and they can put them back in action. Absolutely. It's really cool. So then on the other side of that, you know, you can come in here and shop around. There are actually a ton of people milling around right now shopping. Um, but if you are doing a renovation and you want to think of like a great way to give back to the community with things that you're not going to use anymore, that's an option too, right? Right. It works. It works on both ends of the spectrum. So if you're coming in to shop, we've got great, great bargains for you, great possibilities. And then on the other end, if you're upgrading and renovating something in your house, chances are it's still very usable and could have another life. So give us a call. We take donations. We have trucks on the road five days a week helping you coordinate pickups of donations as well. A lot of the things are big items and people don't have the means to move it from their house to here. Uh, and we also have uh, a lot of people who just drop off items that are perfectly good condition, uh, things, lamps, chairs, things that are a little easier to put in your car <laughs> and bring here. Not wardrobes. <laughs> not, not necessarily wardrobes. We'd be glad to pick up this type of an item. Um, and the, the risk you take is that when you drop it off, you may, be in, you may find something here you want to buy, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you take that with you. So it's very cyclical, and we appreciate customers and donors just like that. Right, and they are, I assume, tax deductible donations. It's a complete win-win. So yeah. imagine if you're remodeling your kitchen, uh, kitchen cabinets are a great reseller for us, mm -hmm. whether it's for someone's kitchen or whether it's for someone's garage or something right. like that. Instead of just throwing them in, in the trash and, and then and even paying for that trash tipping fee, right. um, why not donate it to us and you have a tax deduction uh, and you also get to uh, to save some items from our landfill and help other people get right. a good deal. Yeah, feel good about what you're doing. That's yeah. great. Uh, well, thank you so much for having us, Kevin. I know there was one other thing we wanted to mention. The Habitat is the beneficiary of a big event this weekend, right? This weekend, real exciting event and also a home-related event. It's yeah. the uh, the Rehoboth uh, and Lewis Home, home Expo, which is uh, going on for uh, many years. Habitat's been the beneficiary of that, but there's going to be all kinds of exhibitors packed into the Cape and Lopen High School yep. area. Beautiful venue, tons of parking. Uh, Habitat's the beneficiary of the, the concession for that. We're also their philanthropy of choice. Go check it out. All kinds of home yep. improvement items and home building items and just great opportunity to see 
see the industry uh, here in Sussex. That's awesome. So people want to come to the ReStore, when are you guys open? We're open on Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 10 to 5. And on Saturdays for the early starters, we're open from 8 to 3. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Dustin, just a heads up. I might be bringing one of these home. And hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.